Welcome to circuit. You only need one weight, but have a couple different sizes. All right, here we go. Let's play a little bit of music. We're just gonna do a, a little warm up here, freestyle warm up. For me, we're just gonna step touch. And you never have to match my pace, right? You can always move at a speed that's comfortable for you. We're gonna add a reach across the body right here. Gentle twist in the spine. Nice. We're gonna take the arm overhead to a side stretch reach. Yes, team. Happy Wednesday. So what I was saying, Kelsey, <laughs> Hamstring curls are next, as eventually we're gonna move. And I really wanted to go back to Mammoth, but I'm just not confident that that's gonna help us escape this smoke. I can't do this smoke every summer. <laughs> Bring the heel to the booty. Pull the knee up, march. We'll be in bend a year, <laughs> at least. Hold that right knee up. Pull it over to the opposite shoulder. Get a little bit of stretch right in that booty. And let's gently release, switch sides. Left knee up. Pull that belly button in, lift the heart. Pull it across to the opposite shoulder. Ooh, yes, nice to you. We're just gonna step our feet wide. Static lateral lunge side to side. This doesn't need to be this lunge. We are just warming up. Keep your spine long. Next time we're on the right side, hold it there. We'll drop that left shoulder. Gentle twist, little bit of stretch on the inside of the leg. Turn those shoulders back to center. Shift that lunge over to the left. Let that right shoulder drop, gentle twist. Shoulders back to center. Shift that whole body to center, lengthen the spine. Bend those knees. Heel toe in till you're about shoulder width or so apart. Take a deeper bend in the knees. Tuck the tailbone, round up nice and slow. Arm circles at the top. Beautiful. And let's switch directions. All right, team. We're starting in with a twisted Tabata. 40 seconds, followed by a 20 second repeating move. So go ahead and grab one weight. The wrong timer up because I was confused when we got started. Here we go. All right, one weight. We're starting with kettlebell swings. Step those feet wide, shoulder width at least, maybe a teeny bit wider. Slight turn out in those toes. Release that weight down. Reach through the legs. Squeeze the booty up. If you have a kettlebell, feel free to use it. I don't have one. Make sure you're shifting your weight back. And that booty's sticking out. Really thrust the hips and squeeze. That weight doesn't need to come up super high. Woo, keep going. Who else joined us here? Dana's here, Jordan, Valerie, Tony, yes, Janelle. Three, two, one. Hold that weight at the center. Lateral leap. So this is every 20 seconds. We're here at lateral leap. You can take them faster or slower. I want you to use as much space as you can. Three, two, one. If you're getting on the ground with me, take that weight into your right hand. We're gonna squat, hop to plank or step to plank, row. Come back up. So we're here, right side only row. If we're not, 
gonna get to the ground. We're gonna squat and then row. Squat, weight to the middle, hinge at the hips, row. Ooh. We've got five seconds here, friends. Back to our lateral leaps. Three, two, weight to center, lateral leap. Keep bracing yourself through your core. Pull that belly button in. Hey, Aaron, Alyssa, yes. Looking good. Nice, Michelle. Awesome. Three, two, one. Other side, squat plank row or squat row. Woo. Keep that elbow close to the body for the row. If we're standing, bring that weight to center for your squat, hinge, throw. Drop it like it's hot. Get as low as you can in that squat. Think about releasing the glutes on your way down and then squeezing them to bring you back up. Three, two, finish your last one. Lateral leaps, 20 seconds, here we go. Nice team, big leap side to side or big step. You don't have to hop, right? You can step big. Working the outside. Three more seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Take that weight into your left hand. We're gonna row at the bottom of our right lateral lunge. Hold that lunge as low as you can. Woo. Nice team. We have about 12 seconds here. Make sure again, you're shifting that booty back, belly button in, neutral gaze. Don't look up, don't tuck that chin. Leaps in three, finish your last one, two, one, here we go. Nice too. Looking good, Heather. Yeah, Cameron. Ooh, Brittany, Alexandra. Let's say yes. Valerie, three, two, other side. Weight to that right hand. Step out, lunge left. Row at the bottom. Ooh. And remember, if you're not quite getting the moves this time, that's okay. Eight moves will stay the same. The only thing changing is what happens in the 20 seconds. So we get a break in between each round. 10 more seconds here. We're back to our leaps. Whew. Nice. Now three, two, side to side. Let's go. Take it out. So that pike row. Squat move is our only move getting up and down. Just FYI. So maybe you did try it the first time through and you think about trying it the second, right? Three or not. Two, one. And weight to your left hand. We're gonna deadlift here. Come up, overhead press. Single leg deadlift. Overhead press. So today in your single head, um, single leg deadlift, I want you to just keep a slight bend in that knee and not bend so deeply as we drop. Hips are square to the floor. You can take that arm out for balance. Three, two, one. Let's take it side to side, weight to heart center. Nice team. Looking good, Aaron. Yeah, Lorena, yeah, Dana, I love it. Awesome, Terry and Mary. Andy, Alicia, yes, Alyssa, three. Yeah, Tony, Jordan, two. Other side, left leg in front, single deadlift. Tap that toe for balance, overhead press. Try to get that bicep in your overhead press, right close 
to the ear without shrugging the shoulder. Square hips, light bend in the standing leg, bicep to ear. Gorgeous teams, look, these look great. Nice. Five seconds, we're back to our lateral leaps. Three, Ooh, two, one, here we go. Heart center, wait, let's go. I'm still sore for Monday, you guys. I don't know if you did. A few of you, a lot of you here did ABCs. Oh, my booty feels it. We have three, two, final move. Take that weight into your left hand, step to your front lunge, hinge from the hips, pass the weight over. I mean under, not over. <laughs> when you reach to pass that weight, avoid rounding in the spine. Fold forward. Ooh, we have 12 seconds here. This is our final set of intervals. That means after our leaps, we get a 40 second rest. So give me what you got. Don't quit, back off if you need to, just don't quit. Three, two, bring that weight to heart center, leap. Ooh, four seconds. Three, two, one, take a break. All right, team, same eight main moves, followed by a weighted side bend. So we're gonna take, for our 20 second move, we're gonna work our side meet right there, okay? Alternating every other. We have about 15 seconds left. Kettlebell swings, starting in eight seconds. Grab that waiter kettlebell. Step those feet wide, here we go. We got this, round two, three, two, drop it like it's hot, let's go. Oh, these look good, again, booty back. Reach through the legs. Weight comes somewhere between chest level and head level. Not much higher. Ooh. Three, two, one. Take that weight to your right hand, side bend. Pull that belly button in. Laterally flex the spine only as far as it feels good to in your body. Might not be a big movement, that's okay. We have three, two, one. Switch hands with that weight. We have squat, plank, row, or just squat, row. Whew. Like it doesn't really matter what hand your weight's in, just remember that next time you need to switch. Elbow in close to that body. Option, we're here, right? Inch forward, row. Squat. Row. Chest lifts in our squat, we don't let it drop. Left side bends in three, two, one. Here we go. Don't let those shoulders twist closed. Yes, <laughs> two. We have five seconds. Three, two, squat row, squat plank row, switch hands on that weight. Here we go. Whatever side you didn't do last round. Remember, we can be stepping, right? If you are getting on the floor, you don't have to jump. You can drop those knees into modified plank. Or we're here, wait in the middle for that squat, hinge, row. When we row, keep this elbow 
right next to that rib cage. Pull it straight up and back. Nice. Three, two, right side bends. Let's do it. 20 seconds. Ooh, catch your breath a little bit. Leave that weight in your right hand. Let's start our lunges to the left. Step that left foot in. Here we go. Reach and row. Whew. Little earth, wind, and fire action. Yes. Nice, Andy. Gorgeous, Heather. Oh, yeah. Love it, Mary. Nice, Michelle, Brittany, Alexandra. I love these lunges. They're so low, my friends. Yes, Erin. Nice, Alyssa, Valerie, Tony, Sarah, Jordan, Kelsey, yes, Dana, three, two, left side bend. Here we go. So we have right lateral lunge with our left arm row. Coming up next. Three, two, one. Here we go. Tap that right leg in and let's step it right back out. Elbowing close to the body. You'll notice I added a lot of rows to all these moves. Really trying to fatigue that group of muscles. Especially since we're doing combo moves and we're not just spending our entire, you know, 40 seconds at a time straight rowing. We're holding lunges, we're getting into planks, working all kinds of things. Getting bang for our buck tonight. Three, two, one. Here we go. Left side bend. Ooh, I'm sorry, right side bend. Whatever side you didn't do last time, our weight was in our left hand, so I think we're back to right. <laughs> Want to keep things even as best we can. Three seconds. Three, two, one. Leave that weight where it is. Here's your leg deadlift. Left leg is in front of your weight from your right hand. The overhead press. If you want an extra challenge, you can try to balance in that overhead press. Be sure you are keeping those hips square to your mat and you're not opening them up, right? Bicep to ear. We have eight seconds. Left side bend in three, two, one. Switch sides. Here we go. We're getting a little bit more active recovery with this left side bend versus those lateral leaps we did last round. But we're getting a lot of oblique work in. We are deadlifting on our right leg. Three, two, here we go. Remember, we're not taking a deep bend today. You can tap that toe down for balance. Or you can use that balance for the extra little challenge here at the top. If you are barefoot, even if you're not barefoot, think about spreading those toes wide, lifting up, the arch of the foot having active feet active through the entire body every part of your body has a purpose right now three two right side bends here we go Woo. <laughs> we got this team halfway 10 seconds final round alternating front lunge with that weight pass so our weight is in our right hand. Let's lunge left leg forward. Here we go. Hinge from the hips to pass it under. Rack the weight near your shoulder in between. You're getting a little hammer curl in there too. Not neglecting those biceps. Don't let this knee buckle. Open it up from the hip. Hinge from the hip. Yes. So with this front lunge weight pass, it doesn't need to be a giant step. We're going to think about using our quads with the smaller lunge 
versus a big giant step where we use the back side of the leg. We have three, two, left side bends. Final 20 seconds of round two. We're getting a break. Don't give up yet. <laughs> so next round, we're going back to that heart rate push for our 20 seconds. Here we go, three, two, one. So really let your body recover so that you can give me everything you've got those 20 seconds at a time. Deep breaths. Ooh, it's sweaty. Sweaty and smoky in Central Oregon. All right, team. We are coming back to our kettlebell swings in about five seconds. Our 20 second move will be fast feet. We're gonna hold our weight in front of our body, not resting on it in front of our body. Shake and bake the booty, okay? Here we go, five seconds, kettlebell swing. Three, step those feet wide. Two, one, let's go. <laughs> nice team, keep going. Looking good, Andy. Ooh, Alyssa, yes. Nice, Cameron. As we dip forward, remember, don't let that back round team. Nice, Michelle. Nice, Brittany. Yeah, Alicia. I try to include a lot of popular well-known songs. Three, two, bring that weight in front of your heart, shake and bake, so that you can sing. And maybe forget that you're working out. Let that booty go, let it go. Light on the balls of the feet. If you want to make it harder, you can take it front and back. That is up to you. Here we go. Three, squat, and row. Let's do it. Wait to that right hand. Hop or step to plank, or just do your squat to bent over row. Make sure that booty's down in your plank, or our weight comes to center, hinge hip, wide chest. Lots of booty going on here. <laughs> Woo. Fast feet. Three, two, wait till your center, let's go. Shake and bake. It's just 20 seconds. In fact, we're down to 12. Ooh, yeah. Nice Lorena. Yes, Janelle. Nice Terry. Aaron. Alyssa. Alexandra and Valerie. Three. Two. Other side. Plank. Squat row. Or squat row. Over here. Ooh, Brittany. I see your tile there. Almost there, three, two, shake and bake, wait to your center. Let that booty go. You've got a part of your body that shakes, shake it now. Yes, team. Nice, yeah, Valerie, three, two, one, take that weight to your left hand, lunge row. Hey, Suzanne, welcome. Good news, Suzanne. We are on the first side of this exercise, so you'll keep things nice and even. Keep that elbow close to the body for the row. Don't extend that neck too much, right? Neutral gaze. That often means looking out down to a diagonal. Three, two, one more. Fast feet, shake and bake. Hands to your center. Let that booty shake it. Yes. Remember, we can move front and back. 
to make this more challenging. Other side in three, two, weight to the right hand, left leg steps out for that lunge. Again, pull that elbow in, pull it straight back and up. Nice. These look great. Nice, Janelle, Dana, Lorena, Terry. Yeah, Mary. Ooh, five seconds. Oh, they're looking good. Get her. Three, good, Jordan, Kelsey, Tony, Sarah, Suzanne, let's go. Shake and bake. Ooh, 10 seconds. Give me just 1% more. Right? One is just the difference between boiling water and not boiling water. Three, one degree, two, one, dead, lift. Weight to that right hand, I mean left hand, right leg down, up, overhead press. Remember, we're not bending our knee a whole lot. This is more like a what some people call a stiff leg, but we're not locking the knee. It's a very soft micro bend. Again, you have that option to practice your balance for the overhead press. Spread those toes wide. Three, two, finish your press. Shake and bake, let's go. We're almost done with our workout. One degree, one degree, unless you're at sea level, then your water boils at a different temperature because there's less pressure in the atmosphere. But at sea level, it's 211 to 212. That's the difference. Here we go. Left leg in front. Yes, 10 seconds here. Pull that belly button in. Keep those hips squared as you fold forward. Shake and bake in three, two, one. Bring that weight to your center. Here we go, give what you got because we are almost done. This is our third to last interval right here. Woo! Let the booty shake, let the thighs shake. We have three, two, one. Alternating front lunge with the pass. Whatever hand your weight's in, it doesn't matter. Step forward with the opposite leg. Remember, this is a more narrow lunge, I'll show you. Then from the hips, not the spine. More quads than hamstrings with this smaller step. We did our hamstrings with all those deadlifts. Final three, two, shake and bake everything you've got for these last 20 seconds. You gotta get it, yes, Lorena. Nice Heather, Brittany, Alexandra, Valerie, Kelsey, Alyssa, Alicia, Cameron, Andy, Aaron, Jordan, Sarah, Janelle, Terry, Mary, Michelle, Dana, Suzanne. Set your weights down, friends. We made it. Step touch. Ooh, we're gonna cool it down. Start a recovery. What a good feeling after that workout for sure. You just sway. And release those arms and let's just gently swing the tree branches in the breeze. Whatever speed feels good for you. As you notice, maybe your heart, you, can make, you might be able to feel it beating right now. Getting slower and slower as our body cools down. 
and find stillness at center. Shift your weight to your left leg. Quad stretch here. Knees are close. Hold it there, friends. Great workout, you guys. Squeeze your booty. Yes, better stretch. Release, let's take that over to our figure four. You can hold on to something so that you're focused on the stretch and not balancing. Make sure that foot is back away from that knee. Hold from those hips, no round spine turtle shells. You guys, I've had, so I got back from Mexico a week ago. Come on up, take that heel forward. Flex the toes back to the shin, forward fold, long spine, head above the heart. About a week ago, I got back from Mexico. Been too smoky here to go out and do anything. That's why I say in about a year, just like to move because I can't do this smoke every summer. Come on up, let's switch sides, left leg. You can, of course, hold on to something here. Now squeeze that booty, more stretch. And gently release. Let's take that into our figure four. Oh, that feels good. And come on up, take that heel forward. Walk the back, flex the toes back. Hinge forward from those hips. This was the perfect attitude adjustment I needed before I go to work tonight. <laughs> and come on up, step those feet wide, knees and toes slightly turned out, two breaths to take it all in, release with that exhale. Here we go, big sigh when you exhale, I can't hear you. <sighs> and one more time, but with this exhale, share your light with the world, inhale all that goodness in, and exhale, share your light. Woo! Crushed it, team. I was recording. I should have said names of people who aren't in class just in case they do the on demands. Oops, I apologize. <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow night for dance. Have a great Wednesday, friends.